Robin Feicht at Stamping Country. Welcome to my stamping studio. Today we're going to make this double dutch card. It's made with a new stamp set called Under My Umbrella that will be available from Stampin' Up! starting uh, January 2020. It's called Under My Umbrella. It also has a coordinating punch which is an umbrella builder punch which is fabulous. But maybe the best part of all is, did you notice the sequins and the metallic baker's twine? You can receive that free with celebration during March through April 2020. It's called the Metallic Baker's Twine and Sequins Combo Pack. So with a $50 order, you can receive all that for free. But let me show you how to make this double dutch card. We're going to start with a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock. It's cut 9 inches by 4 and an eighth. And then we're going to score it at 5 and a half. And then for the band, it's 2 inches by 8 and a half. And we're going to score it from each end at 2 and an eighth. And that's going to form the band. Then we have the inside, which is three and five eighths by five, and then we have another piece that's three and a quarter by three and seven eighths, and then the two little squares are one and three quarters by one and seven eighths. I'm going to start by stamping my umbrella with so saffron ink, and then we're going to stamp these little flowers using the Calypso Coral. We'll stamp those on the ends. And then we're going to use the Bermuda Bay ink to stamp some flowers in the center. And then I'm going to color around them with my So Saffron Stampin' Blends. I'm going to use the lighter of the two and just color around it so that it looks like I have a flowered umbrella. How easy is that? And then I'll use my Builder Punch to punch out my umbrella. And I'm going to use some silver foil paper and cut out the handle. We're just going to set those aside and we're going to um, use some Bermuda Bay and ink and our Aqua Painter and just do a light color wash across this front panel that is three and five eighths. No, three and a quarter by three and seven eighths. We'll set that aside to dry, and then we're going to use our two little squares that are one and three quarters by one and seven eighths. And we're going to stamp our boot using our tuxedo black ink, our pair of boots rather, and then we'll stamp some flowers. I'm going to color my flowers. The leaves are old olive. And then we'll use our So Saffron to color our boots. I'm going to start with the dark where I think the shadows are. And then I'm going to use the lighter. Make sure to leave a little white space so you can see the light hitting it. We'll use our Bermuda Bay. And we'll just color bits and pieces, our trim of our boots. And then the Calypso Coral. I'm going to use both the light and the dark. Ta-da! We have our little square. I'm the boots look like they're sort of flying there, so I'm going to just paint a, a little bit of a ground it with the smoky slate ink. Then we're going to stamp our sentiment with Bermuda Bay. Let showers bring love's flowers. And we'll stamp some more flowers. We'll use a tuxedo black and we'll color those again with the same colors. So Bermuda Bay in the centers, Old Olive Leaves. Calypso Coral. And So Saffron. Beautiful. Those, are, those will be our front panels. Let's stamp the inside. We're going to stamp the sentiment and some flowers. I have large and small flowers. We'll start with our So Saffron. We're going to build our little umbrella the same way that we did before. We're going to just stamp our handle this time with Smoky Slate. And then we'll add our flowers once again. Bermuda Bay. 
and Calypso Coral. And again, we're going to color in with the So Saffron around that. But first, I'm going to stamp the flowers along the bottom. I'm going to use a mixture of big and little flowers. You could do this any way you want. And then we're going to color with the same colors that we've been coloring with. So our Bermuda, Old Olive, and our Calypso Coral and So Saffron. I think these look like little hearts, so I'm going to use the Calypso for those. Do a, We'll finish out with our So Saffron. We'll use both the light and the dark. And also catch that umbrella so it has the look of the umbrella on the front. And then we'll use Bermuda Bay to stamp our inside sentiment. Now remember this was raindrops. It's dry now so I'm just going to stamp the raindrops on our wash. Beautiful. Last we're going to put it together so you're going to fold with and place your panels on. And then this is going to go along the back and we'll be able to fold it over to make our double dutch fold. Super easy. Cute, cute, cute. Now it's going to be important to put the boots and the both panels. You want it to be a little bit wider, so it's going to be one and seven eighths wide and one and three quarters tall on those. And we'll put our inside panel. Make sure to burnish that well. And we'll use some Stampin' Dimensions to pop up our umbrella. Super cute. Love it. Remember our foil hand handle for our umbrella. We'll glue that on. And then we're going to use our fun sequins and baker's twine. So I'm going to tie a bitty bow and I'll attach that with a little glue dot so that it's firmly in place. You can adjust it. So cute. So I hope you enjoyed this fancy fold card. We have one more thing and that is we're going to put an odd number of sequins on our card. I'll begin laying that out. These are my free sequins. I'm going to use the Bermuda Bay. It sort of goes with the raindrops. I think I'm going to put about seven of them on. So I'll use my take a pick tool, a little bit of glue, and we'll just keep putting these on here. And uh, one tip is an odd number will look better than an even number of sequins. So I'm going to do seven all together. Do five on the right and two on the left. I like the little stripes in there. Looks good with the rain. Ta da, ta da, ta da! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like. And if you would like to see more paper, paper crafting videos, be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much and have a fabulous day.